So we just roughed it down, and now we're going to change this and, and put one of the um, different fittings so I'll get it absolutely correct at 5 millimeters. So we're all there now. Um, so now we're going to taper it down by hand. But we can use a plane to take down from here to here. That's the rough fit. Um, so now just to take it down. These are the, um, the cleats that came with the kit. And um, we decided to try something different um, and to use some of the skills that we've learned to actually make wooden cleats. And the most perfect form, um, which is almost identical to the size of the, the cleats that are given in the kit is in fact the rear axle of the cannons. So we've, we've dimensioned a piece of blank wood um, in, in the shop using um, one of the, the axles and it's all been made on the table saw and within about an hour we were able to create quite a few of these cleats and now we're just going to sand them and put a little pin to install them. Now we're ready to install the um, the cleats, um, of course, as I said, we would have painted it, um, but here's a, a very common mistake made, is that we pre-painted most of the pieces so that we get that nice, clean, painted finish. And now all of a sudden we have to stick something on it. And you must never ever um, stick any part that is going to have any stress on it at all, even the slightest stress, uh, stick it uh, a wooden surface onto a painted surface. Uh, most of the glues hold wood on wood. Wood on paint is not a, um, a good way to attach. So again, it's simply take your utility knife, line up uh, exactly in this case where the, um, where the cleat is going to go and scratch out um, a line where that glue so that you expose the wood and then when you put the CA on the cleat it, the, the, the join is going to be a wood on wood join. Um, the last thing you want to do is to be tightening up on a cleat on a fully rigged boat and the cleat comes flying out and that's what's going to happen if you stick a wooden part onto a painted surface. You um, do remember my um, painting board. So this is set up with some holes and we spray paint the black. And then we do the same thing, except we're hand painting the cleats in red. And it's really a very easy way um, to do this. Once you've got it all set up, you should use a punch to form a starter hole to make sure the drill doesn't run on you. It also um, lets you make sure that the spacing is correct because there are quite a few of these pins and they really all need to, to be in the same position for each gun port. And now we can drill the holes. Um, 
you can't really get the drill in at this stage um, so you have to revert back to a uh, hand pin uh, drill and it works fine you probably break a few drill bits but it'll work fine so here here we have the um, the davits are in and the eyes to hold the ca the cannons are in um, I chose to paint them red rather than black following the model in the National Maritime Museum which has them red and this matches the color scheme at the back. 